clear uh, the exam properly and it was quite yeah. good okay nice. uh, but good. i missed to answer uh, 10 questions shri that's okay part of life part of life yeah don't expect don't expect always things will be perfect yeah so, absolutely can't be right yeah, yeah. That, that's that's a game yes. that's a game let's play that okay first let's uh, welcome everyone here and uh, let's see how many of you are available here to say hello ah few people are here some of them on youtube i'm expecting few people will join all right great uh it this morning was a bit sunny again it started drizzling good weather i'm having here i managed to go for a walk and then do some exercise how was it there sunlight is bright in your place uh huh at least anjali i can see that sunlight is bright behind you true it's actually too sunny too much sun okay sun is good for you not good not to this extent not good <laughs> if march yeah. is like this i'm scared to think what about april and what about next what will happen after 100 years or right now no april and may will be even more oh, you are worried only for this year no next year you are not worried right this year only you are worried Okay. We always worry for next year, not uh, this year. Okay, nice. Okay, I understand. Hey, Manth, how is it? I see you have your natural, not natural light there. What is happening? Not sunlight there. Ah, uh, sunlight is there, but I am in inside the room actually. <laughs> ah, so you kept all the doors closed. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Good to know. All right. Great. First, thanks all for joining here, and uh, this is uh, another uh, Sunday Q and A session or a Sunday prayers to talk about how things are going on. uh this is a continuous effort from uh, both the side there is from sri learning and uh, the people who are preparing uh, the people who are certified recently so it's a collective effort uh, to see how can we go forward um, of course the people who have achieved the exam it looks okay i'm done fine uh, for the people who are getting close to the exam you be bit more nervous because the date is coming closer you have to do that people have just started reading uh, you try to get the inputs so each one have their own wish uh, sometimes when you see a big uh, cinema posters cinema posters mm, uh, if you have a kid with you kid will look something in the poster you will look something in the poster right it's it depends on what you want so every program has its own plus and minus so i request you to watch out what is good for you and uh, let's work together towards your success part uh today what we are going to do is uh, let me check if anyone is here who cleared exam is anyone who cleared recently okay people who cleared exam so happy uh this morning i got at least one or two messages who cleared the exam one of them got the paper immediately that they cleared and uh, other person is still waiting um i'll declare the names later because uh, they just got the information maybe 15 20 minutes back i got a message cleared exam okay so the people are clearing the exams it's going on there are people who are preparing and getting close to the exam so uh, two sessions we'll do today first we'll address the people who are getting close to the exam and then we'll pick up couple of questions i to have some questions to talk and i'll explain some subject knowledge that's what it is uh first ask here is the people who have uh, exams closer at least in the month of uh, march and april please put your hands up in emoji so i know that you are very close and we are talk about it i have uh, anjali i have mutana um, and then i have yemant okay i have three people now i'm going to listen for three people here if you do have some exams coming closer at least in march april please put your hands up I'll go in the order. I'm having Anjali as number one here. Let's talk with Anjali. So Anjali, how is it happening? What's happening? Actually, uh, need to still uh, pay for the exam. Just day before yesterday, it got re-approved, as you know very well. Application form is uh, yeah, re re-approved. Yeah. Okay, this application you filled in uh, maybe a year before. Is this correct? No, no. Two months back. Two months back. Okay. Now I'm trying to understand why they holded you, why they re-approved uh, you. I thought it is done some time back. So message here is two months back. You did it. Yes. Okay. I mean okay. Jan month end or something. I had uh, done. Ah. Before. Okay. Okay. Now I got it. Now I got it. Very good. Now is everything sorted out? Yeah, I got it uh, re-approved now. So I very need good. To pay for my nice exam one. at the earliest date. I need to put. Now. Nice I don't know one. when it is. nice no, anjali anjali you know one thing the people who are scared 
they are the one who is always targeted so uh, when this application problem happened did you feel that why me did you got a feel like why me huh? you had it right okay and because as i observed last few months you are the person who are always uh, oh man why it's happening to me kind of a person and uh, that's happening to you <laughs> okay uh, but good <laughs> thing here really perfect thing i got it somehow it got a blunder over there okay okay it's a fine completely anjali the point here is uh, uh, the point here is it is clearing i would not say that it is always there with you right you had a problem the problem got cleared now so uh, be happy but is it blocking your exam date because of that approval procedure uh, is it delaying your exam date uh, just yesterday i just saw the dates i still want to have some uh, clarification just now uh, just uh, last uh, yesterday in the night i spoke to someone because i don't want to make the same mistakes again but okay. again i may uh, Uh, i may disturb rahul that uh, may happen but mm. uh, still the thing is that uh, um, i just want to make sure everything okay. at least goes correct okay it goes well no yeah, that's that's completely fine so um, yeah no, that's okay it's okay it's part of that uh, so see we are not an expert on this field for a long time you just tried for your exam and it's okay completely uh now two questions to you one is i'm going to talk about exam other one is application process i heard things are good which means you are taking charge of it and you are able to submit your form already did uh, and i got it approved also very good what is the date it got approved 22nd of Ma- uh, march 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 yeah 22nd march so which is 365 days one year your application is valid now very good this is clear and um Now let's go to the that's exam. Same part. PMI ID I had. Ah, that's nice. That's right. So you is it a lucky number? You don't want to give that number? No, I don't know why they gave the same number. No, I I thought you asked they... them. <laughs> you asked them. That's a lucky number. Give to me. <laughs> okay. If that is the case, I would have asked them to retrieve it back instead of reapply. <laughs> <laughs> okay, nice, you know, Anjali. Ah, uh, let's move to the exam part. Um, okay. What what is it about exam? The date. I remember you said end of March or beginning of April you are going to write yeah, the exam. Yeah, I don't have those dates now. Uh, beginning of April, third and fifth are the two dates I have. I have to select uh, possible. I'll select third. Uh, when you I say don't you have don't the have holidays. the, if you say don't have the date, is it you could not allocate the date or the center is not available? The center is not available. Those center days. is not available. So it's a booked already. So you're looking for April three. So April three, I'm seeing as a Wednesday. Yes. All right, and uh, you are taking any leave from your work before that? Maybe you can't take Monday the leave. Monday leave. So that's all. Not. But okay. I so have Friday. a leave from Friday to Sunday, so mm, that's Monday fine. I Thank have to go well. that way. Monday you have to go. Tuesday you have to go. Wednesday only is your exam. Tuesday I may take a leave. Tuesday and Wednesday two days. Yeah, that's a, that's sufficient. That's sufficient. Sufficient to go for the exam. Okay, the date is clear, and your application is good. Date is clear. Very good, and uh, your mindset. the positiveness how is it how should i interpret this laughing smiling you are happy unhappy mixed emotions mixed emotions okay how many full exams you have done so far uh, i had finished 3 3 uh, you did uh, what is the average of 3 average score of 3 that i did not calculate 70 plus no 68 plus 67 plus okay that's a very decent score to clear the exam from my perspective however uh, you have to first feel confident it is not only me saying that you are ready for exam you should feel self confident as i'm go- good for the exam now let's keep the date as it is by 3rd of april so today is the 24th of march so how many weekends you have in between in between you have one, one weekend one weekend okay so next 5 to 7 days or 10 days what you have to do i will give you some bullet points the bullet points will be primarily focusing on agile area people area the sense of stakeholder resource or communication management and people area and i'll also guide you to go through uh, the glossaries to read few words there this is what next few days you will do in between i would recommend you to take one more full exam do you have the plan of writing another full exam i have very good nice then go for one more full exam 
least a two or a three 60 questions exam. Okay. So you will take one full exam and a two or three 60 questions exam. This is continuous back to back 60 question or no, give a gap, give a gap. Uh, if it is a continuous, I would have asked to take another 180 question. That's not needed. So take another 180 question. That is the fourth 180 question exam. You will take. You will take at least a three 60 questions exam with some gap. This is to understand how you are taking, how you are understanding the questions. That for that reason, take 60 questions, take a break, analyze those questions, and read more about it. Take another 60 question after one day. You do this. So bullet points I'll share you later in the WhatsApp, and you are going to do this practice exam. And stay focused on it. And uh, to me, for now, your scores level are really good. Just you have to stay on the momentum, then you will clear the exam. But I have to learn to use my laptop to do my exams. Or Very good. That you still last week you said you're going to try. Yeah, I I got stuck with uh, the other problem. Other so process. Was... Okay. Nice to know. Nice to know. So go ahead and start using your computer, not mobile. At least from today or tomorrow, start using computer. Yesterday, Don't... I started using it uh, for 10 marks questions. Are you feeling comfortable with the computer? Yeah, not bad. But I may take time when I'm reading in okay. this system. Okay, nice to know. Nice to know. In main exam, they'll give a monitor for you. A big monitor will be given. So be prepared to see the monitor and write the exam. Okay. Perfect. Uh, I believe you have one question, right? Related to risk management. Yes. Yeah, can you bring that uh, after some time once I talk with the other rest of them and come back to you? Okay. Yeah. All right, great, great. That's uh, Anjali. Then I'll go to Mutana. Mutana is here. Yes. I see. Hey. So I took two marks. Uh, one I took in the very beginning of the week after talking to you last week. Okay. I got uh, 78 in that. Very and good. Then I took another full mark two days back. I got 73 mm -hmm. in that. Mm hmm. Um, <clears throat> there were some wrong answers. My understanding or interpretation of the situational question was wrong. Mm. And in some cases, I was not able to understand the question properly. Mm. Mm. So those things I'm trying to cover. But okay. uh, both the tests, I have uh, reviewed my wrong answers. And some of the right answers also where I thought it might have been a best guess and there might be a gap. I reviewed uh, both of it. Okay. And uh, I have one week left for the test. And First of all, good. Yeah, and the topics that you gave me, I covered some and some I'm yet to do and glossary I'm doing. Okay. Yeah, Are you taking a random agile test also? Yes, I took uh, like 15 questions, one or two I've taken. I'll take mm. some more. Mm. Okay, that's that's sufficient. Uh, your score is above average, what we need for the main exam. So you are in the right range. Uh, time management, um, I want to hear again. In two exams, yeah, have you took did you took the break in between? Yes. Uh, in the first exam where I scored 78, my time management was really good. Mm. Um, I had uh, around 15 minutes excess after uh. finishing my test. And in between, I had taken 10 minutes each as well. Uh, in, nice. the second, in the second test, however, um, I was not able to focus in the second test for some reason. I, I had some cold and I was not keeping very well. Mm -hmm. uh, but um, I just finished at the last minute. Uh, I, I did that's take fine. 10 minutes. 10 minutes that's fine. As, yeah. no, that's a decent time what you did so far. So nothing to worry there. Uh, okay, this is clear for me. And you work in Agile already? No, I, no. I, I have never worked in Agile. Okay, it's agile. manufacturing. I have you work. mentioned already. And yeah. But you still feel comfortable with Agile? Yeah, um, yeah. I mean, I'm able to. I'm. I. I kind of feel my mind was in agile when I was working. What for? I might end up being very comfortable working in agile going forward okay. if I get a chance. I said no. You will get it. Uh, so, Matana, you are good now. Nothing to worry. Uh, but I would recommend to take another one full exam. Yeah. Uh, two is good. Another two, if you can take. But uh, you have only a week of time. Have you planned your holidays for your uh, exam? Yeah, I'm not working, sir. I've told you. I quit my job. So. Yeah, I remember you pushing hard on that part. So can we take another two full exams? Yeah, I can take. You take two full exams, but to give a gap. Don't do two full exams same day. Okay. Don't do that. It'll be a dropping and that will demotivate you. Uh, now on, you don't worry on the scores. Scores pass, just forget it. Now just focus on how to tune your answering ability. Yeah. Even in third and fourth exam, you got 55%, still you're fine. Okay. 
because you already reached the level how to face the ball that you are clear okay. uh, maybe one match you will go down second match will come back again okay. okay so don't worry on scores going forward because your rhythm is good your level of preparation is good only thing you have to tune and as a right. tune tuning you can take 60 questions also you can take 180 questions also Uh, but i would say take 180 questions that's nice for you give a full feel for you your exam is done okay taking advantage of your um holidays right now what you have yeah yeah but if you're working i won't force you on that part considering your holidays i'm forcing you to do too and uh, are you going through some of the keywords in uh, agile practice guide like a glossary yes i am yes you're doing it yes okay do that okay this is clear have you read the pmi ethics document no i did not um, i wanted to ask you actually uh, where would i find that in the pinbox uh, uh, yeah. this thing or it is in our shared folder which is given to you uh, okay. even if you don't get there uh, even in google you can just type pmi okay. ethics you get a pdf copy okay if not also which batch you are from mathana uh, which group um october october 20, right just 20. just give one miss give me one message in your whatsapp group i'm sure one person should have that it's a very small pdf copy which has a okay. four statement it talks about respect responsibility honesty fairness all right so it is a very english word we know what is respect we, do, we know what is responsibility but it is not the english word respecting your parents taking responsibility of your life insurance no that's not the case respecting people around you in project respecting some of the decisions taking responsibility of your decisions and thought process in the project in the deliverable so you have to read from a project management perspective what is responsibility project management perspective what do you mean by respect okay. right i want you to read those paragraphs and connect that with what uh, the pmi says towards a project the reason being is in 180 questions at least a few percentage of the questions will check the underlying concept here is it'll check what is your um, thought process towards being ethical are you a good manager good leader however you somehow cut the corner to win the game in the name of urgency in the name of making it happen will you cut it or will you be clear on ethical behavior this definitely they'll check Uh, sometimes in the question it's very explicit they're checking the ethical behavior sometimes it won't be explicit it will be blended so you have to be careful enough to read that for that reason please read this document okay got it yeah very good very good so that's clear mutana any other questions you have um no regarding the exam or anything i don't nice to know now i want to ask a tip from you uh, your scores are going up really well so if somebody is taking exam but their scores are not going well uh, will you have some suggestions for them what to do from your perspective it doesn't mean that uh, you cannot say now she i will do only after my exam clearing not like that yeah. whatever you did you did a best job now if you want to give some idea the way of preparation what you are doing which can help some of them the thing i have uh, one thing to make it very strong in your head is uh, not to use our own brain i felt that i was making that mistakes in the 40 questions 60 questions mm. uh, your own brain in the sense your own style of working will not work in many situations i used to answer in a way that oh i would do this i would do this but none of it mm. matters there is a book which is telling you how to do the project you have to no matter what follow it no matter what the situation is mm. probably that's one key and uh, i mean <clears throat> i was also in the my i mean till you till i met till i spoke to you last week uh, um i had i was actually scared to take the test uh, uh-huh. because I, there was a feeling that i have not prepared enough even though my final date was fixed uh, but taking the test has helped a lot um, it uh, only taking test will help no matter how much you read i don't think it is going to help unless you take the test and start bridging the gap that's the only two things i feel might help somebody who's holding okay. themselves back makes sense i really like that thanks a lot mutana i believe it helped some of you in this group because i have some of them who are going close to the exam uh, the reason i asked this question is uh, when someone is scoring well some trick they would be following I want to see what it is so two points one is don't think from your desk your corporate perspective 
see what am I, what is from the PMI perspective. PMI Institute mentions this is the best way of doing. Very good. Nice. All right, then thanks, Mutana, for uh, sharing the point. Thank you, Appreciate it. Right, very good. Yeah. So, Mutana, for you, I think uh, Ananya has already shared something in the yeah. group. Thank you. Yeah, that's good, right? Yeah. So, good to have Ananya here. Ananya, how are you? Yeah, I'm so, doing good, Sri. The, the, the rock star in expert group, right? Answering questions left and right. <laughs> Nothing like that. I'm just trying. <laughs> Thanks, Ananya. It really takes effort. I know that we have 100 plus or 100, near 1000 people there in the group. Um, but uh, nearly it takes effort to read a question, spend time, and answer back. Uh, giving back is a good uh, uh, culture or a habit. You are giving back, really appreciate it. I would request Thank people you. who are certifying or getting certified, uh, please help one another. That's very important. Nice to know. Nice to know. So, Ananya, in your office job, you'll allocate some time. This is the time I'm going to answer the questions. How do you manage? <laughs> no, uh, actually, whenever I read the question, I feel like answering it that time only. But uh, sometimes I'm uh, stuck up in uh, housework or office work. I didn't okay. get time. But I, in the meanwhile, if somebody answers, so it's okay. And if I feel that I can add something to that, I will do that. Nice. Uh, whenever I get time, I do that. I like answering the uh, questions because it also helps me to refresh my uh, knowledge, whatever I have been through. So nice. that's good. Nice, Ananya. Because each question, when you answer, I have read that you'll give a full paragraph of detail. So you, <laughs> you don't give that is right. You will tell why it is right. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh. So in oh, that way, I also understood uh, the topic. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So that is okay. the reason I try to give whatever I have learned uh, from you okay. and from the book. Nice to know. So, Muthuna, I have shared in, uh, I don't know in which group you are. So, I have shared in, uh, uh, I think uh, yeah. there is serial number one, serial number C, uh, six, and ACP group I have shared. I don't know in which group you are. So, <laughs> how, about, uh, how about expert group, if you guys are all in the expert group? Yeah. Are you guys I in the expert group? Muthuna, you are in expert group? Yeah, I am. I just looked up expert group. Nice. Oh, okay. Can you share it on share expert that. group? Yeah, I will share that. Yeah, thank you. Let's go to next level expert. Eh? <laughs> Let's go to that level of group. <laughs> so thanks for doing that, Ananya. Keep continuing again. Thanks for joining here today. So delighted. Thank you. You're Ananya. welcome. Thank you. Very good. Bye. Very good. Very good. Then, uh, and all the, best, all the best. Thank you. All the best. Thank you so much. Much needed. <laughs> yeah. you, will, you will pass. Don't worry. Thank you. Okay. Okay. Good to know. All right, then uh, let's go a little more. I have uh, Hemant. Hemant was a bit pressurized last few days. I know that. Today you look a bit calm. Maybe after a cyclone, there is a calmness. <laughs> is it so? <laughs> yes. yes What's happening, Hemant? Uh, it's going good, but uh, not happy with the marks, actually, Shreen. Mm. Yeah. Okay. I know. I know. I remember the numbers there. Uh, this is your second full exam, right? Uh, yes, Shreen. Mm. Mm. Second exam is a bit tougher comparatively, the level we have set there um, because... Uh, yeah, it was actually... <laughs> I, I took very long time to understand the questions also. Yes, yes. It's tough. Yeah. Uh, but doesn't mean that in a second exam, everyone should score low. I too have people who scored a good number there, um, above 65, 75. Uh, now let's come to the situation where you are. Uh, how many days did we have for the exam? Uh, Shri, still I haven't paid the fees. Exactly. I mean, okay. payment I have not done for the okay. exam. I would say, let's give a slight pass there. Uh, let's okay. not push the date right now to book the exam uh, because sure. this will add another level of pressure on you. Let's not do that now. Okay, okay, Shri. Be a little relaxed, breathe well, and uh, be normal. Mm -hmm. And let us first analyze the exam, what you took. We'll analyze some, some questions. Okay. I think I, I can. you can even go for some short exams. Uh, 40 okay. and uh, 60 okay. and it is not about the subject knowledge sometimes the way we read the question also will put us down uh, okay. maybe our, our brain is too much of thinking somehow i had to get more score somehow i had to get more score sometimes if we ourselves put a pressure uh, maybe our reading uh, we read but we didn't read actually what the main context is we would have missed it right uh, let's uh, try the relaxed approach Okay, let's not go by pressurized approach. Let's go relaxed. 
how are in the month of april how are you your job nature how is it you can take leave somewhere in between yeah i can take leave in between very good very good uh, so what we do is in april we'll do the exam no change in that but in april let's not push it the first week let's we'll keep on the second or middle of third week sure let's okay. keep like that um, yeah. for now don't keep any date in the mind keep it free mm-hmm. just practice the exam for next few more days and then we'll hit another 60 or 180 and okay. you will see some change in the improvement then we'll decide it okay sure sure yeah mm-hmm. because i felt that uh, you are going through some lot of pressure on yourself mm-hmm. yeah let's not do that yeah. uh, mm-hmm. but the question here is uh, uh, which book now you are referring back you are flipping the pages which book you are flipping um right now i'm just uh, going through the uh, going through your videos which you had uh, taken okay up. Over, okay with those things and a okay. few uh, glossary and uh, glossary, glossary both pm uh, pm book and uh, agile practice guide both nice to know and uh, when you analyze the exam you have any white paper and you note down some bullet points this is what i missed uh, yes yes i am doing that you're doing it right and uh, mm-hmm. for the first exam and the second exam the two sheets what you have written in case you written mm-hmm. do you see same kind of mistakes are repeating or a new set of mistakes uh, it is a new set of mistakes actually with respect to um the hmm. communications again stakeholders little i need to brush up and hmm. risk hmm. okay so you are still worried on the subject it's not yeah. your question reading problem it's a subject problem yeah okay 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 fine uh nice nice you know fine uh, any other things which is popping up in your mind this you have any questions related to this um a, a questions reading because sometimes if we have lengthy this is the ah. first time i observed so many lengthy questions ah. the first 60 um mm. uh, questions mm. they were mm. quite uh, very big big lengthy uh, questions were there Hmm. So hmm. that I took understand. a long time, and some made me confused. But some I understood the last line or the bit, uh, the center line, which hmm. actually gives. I mean, which is actually pointing to the issue. So that's hmm. how I answered the question. Uh, answered the questions that were good, hmm. but few were little tricky, and uh, even my head was also started paining <laughs> to understand those type of questions. Uh, okay. Okay. uh let me understand a little more on your side what you are doing and uh, this is based on the scores and how moving how things are moving uh what is your exam timing when you are taking exam morning evening or night uh, but i will be taking it in the exam center but i no, don't know no, no practice exam practice exam is in the afternoon afternoon okay post yeah. the lunch you took it took this exam maybe 2 to 2 to 6 or 2 to 7 4 2 to 7 Two to seven. Okay. Uh, in between, no office calls. Is no, no practice? office calls. No, no office okay. calls. Okay. And uh, you are able to sit for four hours, and in between, you take two breaks. Yes. You do that. Okay. Before the exam, did you had a proper food for yourself? I uh, not food. Sleep. I had properly because uh, last time the first mock, uh, I was not having proper sleep. so Achha, i had okay. a good sleep but uh, my breakfast was very heavy so i could have that's some okay. that's okay and uh, the point is with a empty stomach if you start writing exam mm-hmm. you will feel more exhausted okay these are just okay. basics i don't say that will impact directly it could be some uh-huh. indirect impact mm-hmm. all right good uh, nothing wrong here uh, so for hemant you are all good but uh, i want to reduce your pressure a little bit uh, let's give less pressure for next 5 to 10 days Okay. 5 to 10 days let's not think about the exam date let's think of how can i make myself better when i say myself better what you're doing is good you are flipping the book you are going through the glossary which is a good mm-hmm. and i would also say that take 10 questions which are rahul is posting in the whatsapp group mm-hmm. take the 10 question in this 10 question keep a timer a clock in front of you if you can answer in 12 minutes 10 questions in 12 minutes or 10 questions in 15 minutes try that okay. mm-hmm. with the time management also check if it is 10 questions is your brain stable and focused to answer all the questions out of 10 if you can come to 6 7 or 8 you are decent and let us practice couple of more 10 questions you get a 7 8 7 8 continuously which mm-hmm. means your stability is getting improved from there let's move to 40 questions in 40 questions let's target 65 to 75% and 60 questions when you come you go for a 65 to 70% and again 180 questions now you cross 65% okay sir 
Understood. Sometimes sometimes when you go back to the basics and come back, it'll improve. Mm-hmm. It is not always you have to hit on the same ball. Let's change the direction. It will start working. Okay. Okay. Sir. Perfect. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah, but, okay, but in the month of April, we are confirmed to the PMP clearing. Okay. That's clear. Oh, okay. Sir. Yeah. Thank you. Good. Sir. Keep up the momentum. Mm-hmm. All right. Then let's jump to the next person. I should have... Uh, I saw Armugam. Now it is... Yeah. Uh, Armugam, you are done already? No, no. Sorry. Sir. Okay, you are coming in. Then I'll go to Sarla. So I'll come to Armugam quickly. Armugam. How is Armugam? See, uh, sorry, uh, I taken 40 marks questions. Actually, only uh, uh, 40 percentage I, I got. Mm. 40 marks. Mm. After that, I think you suggested me to uh, stop the uh, book reading and take the questions. Yes. But again, what I did, uh, again, uh, because of multiple uh, office costs, so again, I traveled back and something I couldn't able to uh, okay. come back the track. So again, I gone through once again that the glossaries completely once again mm-hmm. and uh, framework again I revisited until uh, okay. fundamentals and everything. Now okay. uh, today, I think after this class, I'll be trying to take uh, sixty marks questions. Um, but my exam that. date is fifth. Uh, see, April. Fifth. I'm trying right? to take leave also one week. Like uh, next to Good Friday, 29th, it'll be leave here Friday. Friday mm-hmm. to next Friday, I think seven days continuously I'll be in uh, trying to take leave. Mm. Okay. So now I remember you are yet to take 180 questions, isn't it? Yeah. Um, okay. When is your first 180 question exam starting? It'll be probably Wednesday. Wednesday. Wednesday will become what date? It will become 27. Okay, 27, you're taking one exam. When is the yeah. next one in the question? Next again, the gap analysis. Then it will go to uh, 30th. 29th. 30 is one. Okay, two exams done. Third exam, yeah. another 180. Tuesday. Second. Second. So 29, 30 and second. The gap is going to be used for analyzing. Yeah. Is it right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay, fine. Fine. Considering the time where we are, this is what you can do. Uh, if not, usually I recommend 180. At least you have to do a little more earlier to get a mm. feel. How can I sit for four hours in a place? Okay. Uh, am I focused? For that reason, we have to do at least a few days and weeks before. Uh, I know that you came to a place where you have to do by April 5. You cannot go back. Uh, now, after doing this a 40 question paper, um, what do you felt there? Did you feel the subject knowledge you want to gain more? Or your question reading has to be improved. Where you, what do you felt there? Um, subject, uh, especially on agile. Hmm. Which yeah. book you are reading for agile? Oh, eleventh read eleventh edition. Eleventh so. edition. Okay. In eleventh edition, you understood the agile concepts. You were able to. Uh, now, them. actually, after that uh, forty questions again, I revisited. Uh, but now I think I'm oh, uh, somewhat okay. But I can't say I'm fully understood. Okay. Okay. So you, the time what we have is pretty limited. We don't have much of time to sit and read. In between, you have your office work and you have your personal work also. Yeah. How many days leave you have before the exam? Seven days. Starting from? Right, 29th. 29th. Okay. To, from 29th, I'll tell you, days will run super fast. Nothing will be in your control. Um, whatever you do before 29th will only help you. So which means next four, five days. Okay. On the next four or five days or up to the 30th of uh, March, you have to focus on taking some short exam, like 60, like 40, few more, okay. and start looking into the area where you have to read. For example, when you analyze a question paper, you get an answer in a particular question. They're asking you something about the backlog. They're asking something about uh, the uh, WBS. You should search for that content and read. Either you search in the book or directly go to Google and search. After that, Google is giving you create data. Just read mm-hmm. that. Read that and understand the concepts. sir. Um, okay. How many years experience you have, Amar Mugam? Uh, 19 years. 19 years, okay. Okay, many uh, information. Three. Yeah, many information. You don't have to go Google. You can go within yourself. You have your own Google, okay? Uh, with the 19 years of experience, you have your own Google server. Uh, just recall the content, whatever you did, okay? Uh, this exam is more of a common sense and some uh, um, sense of uh, knowledge towards what I'm doing. That if you can think, you can answer the questions. So 
search something in the internet do some reading on the books relook at yourself what you're answering uh, mm-hmm. for now i'll tell you next 10 days is you have to improve one area that is called question reading ability being very conscious on reading a question okay what is asked here read the last sentence of the question very carefully mm-hmm. the question would have explained the big story but the last sentence will be pointing something else so be very careful who is being pointed in this question be very careful on that improve your elimination technique when when you see an answer in this four answers which two looks blunder mistake pmi will definitely make a mistake in two answers they purposely make a mistake you have to remove that two carefully the rest two will stand there in this rest two your book knowledge your job experience will help you to choose okay uh, this exam is not the toughest exam but if you can focus on it yes you can click it now keep okay. me posted regularly on your progress let us watch out as you said 27 is one full exam 30 is another full exam second of uh, april is another full exam yeah right Very okay precise. in between this full exam you are going to read the books you are going to read the content and you are going to tune some short exams and you will be day and night thinking on this process perfect thank you all right good wishes do well let me know okay yeah. all right then let's pull in sarala sarala ji what's happening i Arali. have uh, i have exam on 6th april 6th april is sarala exam uh, you have 11 days with you 11 or 12 days yeah so, how is it going uh, my scores are not really uh, good uh, shri hmm hmm okay so how many full exams you have done so far three full exams i have taken third one also not went very well okay yeah can do i'm just checking the whatsapp second one also not well i think we are in the same range right all three exams yeah almost but the first exam you did really well yeah i'm i'm also surprised why second and third scores were less first exam you did in the february yes in february i saw your scores are pretty high on the first exam and then start dropping down yeah hmm how is the time management with these exams um second mark was good third mark i felt i didn't have time for last uh, seven or eight questions hmm are you pretty questions- con- conscious in reading the questions you read the question two times three times um sometimes yes you doing it if the okay. questions are lengthy like if it is more than three okay. lines then i read it again you read again but uh, are you taking breaks in between the exam mm 10 minutes break yes i have taken 10 two times 10 10 yes yes okay break is good and eight questions seven questions going over the board that's okay that's not a big problem you can manage it uh, but the score has a dropped um, but still we have 11 days time we can tune better so how you are tuning what is your tuning strategy i am going through your training materials okay then um, i'm planning to reread the agile book once again agile practice guide book yes. is it correct Yes. Okay. It uh, it is around one eighty pages. Are you going to read all the chapters? I plan to read all of them. Yeah. All of them. Okay. How is your work nature? Breaks, holidays? Um, I have holidays next week. I mean, like from twenty fifth to twenty ninth. Okay. How are you packed with your family work also? Um, uh, not much. Moderate. Right. So you can keep your eye on your subject. Okay. Yeah. i'm trying to see is it comfortable for april 6 that's why i'm asking family corporate all are ready uh, because if you have a lot of family burden already uh, it'll be so high pressure for you um this is good now uh, sarala so keep me posted on your did i ask you to take 60 questions yes you asked me to take i i will mm-hmm. do that um, maybe tuesday tuesday onwards uh, why tuesday i have to analyze the third mark <laughs> still i'm you're doing do- it you're doing it yeah. okay how many- how many questions pending in 180 100 questions are pending pending so you're doing 40 40 segments that's how you're doing yeah i'm i'm in between i'm reading something also because when i'm okay. analyzing i'm cross referring and reading so okay you're noting on the paper and you're reading yeah, those kind yeah 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 very good that's a good uh, when you do that are you feeling the confidence that you're learning something um mostly i feel that 
some of the words or some of the keywords are missing to read in the uh, question mm. Mm. that is a problem okay so subject knowledge is there but the question reading question ability question reading ability yeah hmm. i know it's see we are not a native english people so obviously certain wordings or sentence doesn't go well also yeah. question paper are written by some of them are us some of them from india some of them from europe so the language also sometime it's not really understandable so i will not put all the blame on the students some of the blame is also on the question also the question also has a language something is not good sometime uh but coming back here you are going to take some 60 questions you are going to tune yourself and are yes. you reading glossary pmi glossary is you reading yeah very good have you read pmi ethics no ethics i haven't read please read please read okay. and start connecting ethics with the uh, pmi management model okay okay this is clear and uh, how is your confidence level towards exam after third mark it has come down <laughs> <laughs> i'm not even sure if i should take the exam or not so yeah 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 i i understand the situation right now let's not decide it see anyway okay. they don't uh, see if you can if you want to push your date you have to push it 30 days before if not they're going to charge you okay uh how are they going to charge you let's not do the change right now let's let's go a little more days okay. see, since april 6 is the exam okay. sometimes we don't know the last two overs you get 25 runs per over so okay I think cricket that's how it right we feel that all the wickets are gone nobody is playing suddenly in 19th over somebody will hit 26 runs boom it will go high even for arumukam that's what i'm saying that give a push for some of them i don't push it because it depends on how the pressure handling is there so i will say that you don't hand the pressure put it down but okay. if you feel if you feel your pressure can be handled i will tell push another 6 days let's see how it's going okay and go for this particular exam okay yep Yeah. Uh, so you are going to give attention towards this and focus on it are you taking leave from your office yeah i am taking um, 25th to 29th wow cool only for this four days what will happen to the rest of the days close to the exam i uh, know that i am taking holiday on 5th and my exam is on 6th or 5th i am taking so in between 1 to 4 i cannot take you cannot one is a holiday yeah. right it's not a holiday april April first oh, is not a holiday in India. Not a holiday. Okay, nice. Okay, so you will have two, three, four. Okay, this is clear. All right, Sarla. So I'm confident you can scale back because I know your first exam, and then some drop has happened. That doesn't mean you will go down. You can come back again. Okay. Okay. So now you did three full exams. Time management yeah. is fine. Scores yeah. are in the average. It is not too low. It is in the average. Okay. Okay. Uh, now you have to take some. 60 questions uh, do the reading process analyze how many it. 60 questions should i take i uh, considering 10 days with you at least take 3 or 4 okay but every time you take do proper analysis of it you complete sit into proper analysis of what is wrong what is right and work it out again okay. one day later another exam analyze okay. it later okay. another exam like this okay. you do three or four exams and then we'll hit another 180 questions okay yeah uh exam taking is not the only goal each exam you have to analyze the paper that's very important okay yep good yeah. keep doing all the best okay thank you all right that uh, could take a good time for us right nice to hear many of them going to exam how many of you feel good hearing others story you two still connected that's the same problem for me isn't it <laughs> for some of us <laughs> when we hear other people will feel oh, okay i am also in the same place <laughs> okay i listen to sachin and go to kumar then i have a question to share i'll come to that sachin what's happening uh, hi sri uh, so see i am in uh, pab batch okay uh, so today today we have the last class okay so yes. uh, my my uh, all things are going uh, good so in terms of agile i am i uh, in the terms of concept, conceptually i am very much confident about that okay in terms of concept and because it is i'm try uh, it is uh, Uh, it is i think it's a uh, relating to me because i am uh, i am working in the as i work but in terms of the process and all uh, when i try when i reading i i i bit uh, confident but i skip for the four five days uh, so uh, entire concepts uh, and the questions also uh, it's completely going down okay so what is uh, going forward okay before going to the uh, full scale of uh, mock test and all 
how should i uh, kind of the strengthen this process especially process and faithful part should i read a rita again and or uh, you mean you completed the book fully already uh, i read it uh, one time very good that is sufficient right now yes. uh, but also there are people who prefer to read the book second time again which mm -hmm. means they go through the content you may not read line by line but you will have noted down while reading certain topics but you will just pass through just go through all the chapters to get a feel that okay i have visited this place already so i will recommend you to do that mm -hmm. while you are doing that parallelly mm -hmm. take one exam which is a 60 questions mm -hmm. or a 40 questions okay. to see your question reading ability if you are with me for last 30 minutes mm -hmm. one problem if you had observed it's not about the subject it's about the reading ability yeah correct correct right so yeah, yeah. even though you read the subject three times four times the books if your reading ability is not clear mm -hmm. uh, then it will be a trouble so that is what we have to work out so recommendation read one more time just go through that just go through that okay take a yeah, 40 question or 60 question let's uh, see what the scores are coming up then from there we'll tune Yeah, because uh, whenever the WhatsApp uh, uh, this, uh, questions are coming, na, the, those questions come from the agile side. I am able to give the answer, but definitely, uh, when the question coming to the process and people part, okay, uh, the question ready ability is a problem. Okay, so I was, I was, not, uh, I was impression that uh, I don't have the complete conceptual knowledge. That was the reason, or it's maybe a uh, question reading uh, inability as well. That that Got that it. much possible. Got it. Yes, that's the situation. Please go ahead and uh, follow yeah. this process. You'll sure, be good. Sure, sure. Great. Let's jump to one more person, then get to the question. Kumar, you look like you are in the car. Yes, uh, sir. Good evening. Is it a flight or a car? No, car. Car. Look like flight window, man. Ah, uh, okay. Go ahead. What's okay. happening? Actually, I booked uh, exam date for thirteenth April. Wow. Cool. Close. Two more weeks. Three more weeks. <laughs> Two more weeks. <laughs> But Kumar, I know you are going very systematic. Is your Excel yeah. sheet getting filled up clearly? <laughs> you you have an Excel sheet, right? You put... no. Yes, in Excel sheet, I am filling in Excel sheet actually. Yeah, yeah, I know. I remember your uh, details very clearly. You are very systematic, man. I think you can write the exam tomorrow also. That's the status you are right now. Okay, go ahead. What's your question? So just uh, whether it is okay, other otherwise I have to change some procedure. Uh, the, you should uh, write the exam. You should write your PMP exam this evening. That's the status where you are. <laughs> okay, <laughs> you are consistent on your score, but I don't uh, I don't uh, take it for granted. But uh, next ten fifteen days, I'll give you some topics which you can work out. Okay, so I'll give you in the WhatsApp later. You work it out. But your range is really good. You are consistent on the preparation. So I don't feel any trouble with you. You just be in the same momentum. I'll give you some topics to work out. You will work out these topics, and let's okay. hit on April thirteen. Okay, thank you. What is special on April thirteen? Why you book the date? No, actually, I will have five days holiday in second week of April. Okay, okay, okay. So I want to use the, those holidays. Okay, I thought it's your marriage anniversary day. You want to gift yourself? <laughs> no. <laughs> It is need to find an office holiday. Hard man. The moment I say marriage, you feel very shy on that part. Maybe your spouse is there in the car. Okay, no. be careful. <laughs> okay, Kumar, you are good, Kumar. Go ahead and uh, keep me posted on your progress. I'll give you some tips on what to prepare. Okay. 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 Thank you, Mr. Singh. Fantastic. Oh, let's get inside. Okay. Thanks all. I think in nearly forty, forty-five minutes is spent on listening to people. I know I can post a lot of questions. We can talk a lot of questions here. Uh, but more than that, I feel that listening to people is very important. That too, when you're getting close to the exam, you get a feel. Can I talk to someone who can give me some thoughts? And people start searching in blogs, checking with the people in the WhatsApp group, talk to them because after some time, it will become like you are all alone. You are preparing. There is no one is there to guide you. That is the reason we have to take this one hour to talk to you or listen to you. Right? That's the intention. However, it is. It is also good to talk about some questions. How to look at the question? Uh, it's ten uh, more minutes we have. We will use ten uh, plus another ten, twenty minutes to take at least two to three questions. I'll I'll present a question, and we'll first understand how to answer the question. Then I'll take this question with a subject and explain how it's connected. We'll understand these concepts now. 
I will expect everyone to answer this question so that you to learn out of it. Uh, what I do is I'm going to, I will have some question. One is an agile, one could be a predictive model also. So let's start with agile question. Uh, let me ask you the question screen. You are able to get the screen what I'm sharing right now. Visible, right? So please go ahead and uh, give your answers. Uh, let's take another 10 seconds to give answer, possibly. Try it out, even if it is right or wrong, what do you assume? It's a bit a tricky question, I would say. Uh, it's too much of content. Okay, first, uh, what we'll do is for this question, we'll find the right answer. After you find the right answer, we'll understand some background of it. Two things we'll do. Um, let's start with the question now. Now, first to ask on this question is, who is being targeted on this question? This question is pointing who? Team. Team. Okay, team. Okay, now, um, is it an agile or a non-agile environment? Agile environment. Agile. Agile. agile environment. Okay. Agile environment. So, when I say agile environment, when a team is being pointed, what kind of team it will be or should be? Self-organizing team. Self-organized. Organized. Okay. And this is a team capable of define. What else they will do? Design. Define user stories. Develop. Develop. Test. 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 Deliver. 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 In the exam, always keep this in mind. When you have a team, this team is self-organized and they're also cross-functional. When you see, this is cross-functional. Is it cross-functional? Yes. 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 What is cross-functional here? Here, someone is able to define, someone is able to develop, someone is able to test, someone is able to deliver, which means yeah. the team is capable of doing all. Okay. So we are targeting this kind of a team towards this question. Now let's understand the question itself. Um, user testing on the last product release, last product release revealed low user interest in certain features that required a significant effort to develop. Okay. The team feels demoralized and they want to make sure their future upcoming efforts are worthwhile. Very good. That's a story. This is a story. Is it a happy, sad? Some story is given here. Success in the next iteration, we don't know what is iteration here. Generally, what is the duration of iteration? Uh, one or two, two to three weeks. It can be one week. 
two weeks, three or four weeks. Two weeks, it can be three weeks or it can be four, four weeks. weeks. We don't know how much it is, but that is also not needed here. Success in the next iteration or a sprint is a critical, the word critical comes here, is a problem. As a competitor product is gaining market share. Market share. Very good. Uh, let's imagine like this, there is a game, a new games uh, company, is X company is here, Y company is here. They both come up with the games, children games. Uh, this people has released a product and they release the product. Why? Imagine you are talking about a company called Y. And in this company, they release something, but they are not doing well in the market. So you are going to release another add-on onto it or a more feature on it that should be good. If you're not good, you lose a market value. Your shares will go down, your revenue will go down. So this new addition is very critical. Critical. Okay. Now I'm going to ask you this question. After reading this three, four lines, what is your take? What is the problem statement here? In this question, what is the problem statement? What is the problem, core problem here in this? Your low user interest, like ah. The user is not happy, which means happy, you say yeah, user is not happy. Last product release. Yeah. Low user. Why low user interest could be a problem? Why should we consider this as a problem? Why this is the problem? Whatever features given, it is not happy with or it's not working. But that's a problem of a customer. Why should I worry? Should I should I worry about it? Yeah, then our product you want to sell, yes, customer should have it. The customer highest value is at the highest value important. features were not prioritized. They did they did some work which was not important. Okay. Okay. Which means we are giving something which is not interest of the customer. We are giving something which we know. Is it the meaning? Yeah. Okay. What I heard customer something. expected. Yeah. What customer expected were not uh, completely under, understood and fulfilled. Ah. Okay. There I heard. A, mm -hmm. there, Go is, ahead. there is a gap. There is a gap between what the user needs and uh, what the product owner has prioritized or what the work the team has done. That's why during testing, they are yeah. unhappy or yeah. some some features are useless, whatever they put more effort and develop. Uh, in our classes, somewhere we learned about Gulf of Evaluation. You remember that? Yes. Gulf of Evaluation. A Gulf of Evaluation is what is customer is perceiving, what they want and what actually they received. I, I, can I blame the customer in the world of 21st century that customer did not give me clearly? Can I blame that? No. No. Our responsibility to full the information, okay. Our, okay. the customer expectations. Having all the technology in the world, having all the best qualified knowledge workers in the world, having all the PhD holders, research holders in my company, if I'm going to say that a gulf of evolution is happening and the customer is not clear on what they want, yeah, I can. Nobody's going to say anything to me but they will move beyond me is this true no one is going to say anything to me if a nokia says that people move beyond nokia isn't it if a political party cannot think from the people perspective people move beyond them that's the world we are living now 21st century it is not my parents lifetime it is not my grandparents lifetime it's my lifetime or my next generation lifetime when you write a question paper, you have to think in that direction. Life will move on if you don't solve the problem. Now, how to solve this problem? First of all, we understood the problem. I think Anjali was saying something. Uh, I didn't hear properly. Anjali, did you say something on this part? Low interest part? No, sir. I tried to say something, but now it's lost in the brain. <laughs> okay. Okay. Before you close the question, it will come back again to you. Okay, now, uh, low, low user interest is a problem. Uh, I think most of you agree in this room, right? Low user interest is a problem. And you also understood that uh, the future efforts are worthwhile. Make sure future efforts are worthwhile. Can I mark this also important area? Yeah. Uh, yes, this, yes. this is pointing to whom? Is it to the project manager? Is it to the project manager, this statement? No, who, who it's is to the product owner. Is it to the product owner? Okay. That one particular role. Is it team. that one particular person responsibility? No. It's the entire team responsibility. Uh, Fantastic. Fantastic. Entire team. And this team is what we learned a few minutes back. They can define, they can develop, they can test, they can deliver. Mm -hmm. When we say an agile team, this team consists of the core engineers, 
along with that somebody who knows the process whom we call as a scrum master or a coach also along with this we have somebody who knows the business we call them as a product owner is this clear is it what we have yeah is it team very good so now you know the problem statement we also know who is being pointed out success in the next iteration is critical now they are putting a point to you next to over in the cricket match the next over no go you have to hit 18 runs i'm just giving a number okay 18 runs which means you have to if i don't do this there is a x competitor and you are a y company and x competitor is already in the market with the video games for children and you too have a video game but they are scoring 9 and you are scoring 4 and your next release is pretty important is this a situation now what we see in the screen yeah now as a competitor product is gaining market share now question is what should the team respond okay we took at least a 2 to 3 minutes to discuss the whole question to understand the context it's a very clear there is a problem if you don't do it properly it will be gone rightly some people said that there is a gulf of evaluation which means a prioritization is not properly done is this understanding is it a common understanding from everyone here yes. we didn't properly prioritize yes very yes. very good very good and now keeping that in mind market will go off prioritization is not done properly now eliminate two answers here which one you want to eliminate first let's start at one elimination yeah. one yeah a okay team can do brainstorming how to better understand the product vision why product vision should not be a good answer here why you want to eliminate it any one of you but here we are talking about I... features ah which is for the next iteration yeah so we are we are not going to focus on the whole vision right now that's not the right place it's not the right place huh yeah okay okay a is gone then uh, one more answer anyone feel that c c will go off why yeah. c will go off can be done in the beginning now there is no time aha data aha the team okay but this can be done any time right training can be done any time but time is very uh, min- uh, the timeline is very little Ah, the, okay. Uh, okay. Training is a uh, training should be done for the uh, prop the question the problem which is uh, now in question. So the growth mm. mindset is not a problem uh, for the team currently. It will ah. not directly. It will not directly address the problem. Fantastic. It's not direct solution. It it yeah. may indirectly. But for next iteration, if I'm going to sit and do the mindset growth part, yes, it can. But that's not the game here, is with. that alone will not make me to win the ex competitor something else can also can be done this can be underlying this can be underlying but okay. something beyond this can be done okay i think i'm hearing this point now the competition gets it tougher now now we have two answers here b and d e. now we have to evaluate these two i am got i got answers from b i also got answers from d since i got d majority i'll start from d people who went to the d why thought d could be a good answer here for this question any one of you see yeah, i marked b oh uh, d we'll start with the d we'll start with the d d okay we'll start with the d yeah please go ahead shri shri because i think the backlog needs to be refined currently in the last iteration they had not done that work clearly uh, like properly hence uh, the value was not derived for the mvp ah. decrease maybe okay nice the, the idea what is said is correct what you said is it there in the d answer yeah because uh, the smes have to be identified um who could help because clearly the product owner is also not able to provide the right backlog prioritization aha uh-huh, aha uh-huh. and so uh, the reason i mm-hmm. thought that it's possible mm-hmm. that if the team lead is able to do a stakeholder analysis and identify re-identify the smes who can help in backlog identify aha uh-huh, aha uh-huh. so you want to identify who who can prioritize my backlog to tell high value and low value you Correct. want to know who who will do this yeah because do, uh, this will solve the problem directly for the next iteration 
I believe so because the, the critical one will be the high end must to do ah, ones, ah, ah, which can ah, be ah, I hear the I hear a point, but uh, one question to you: Do you think in agile project, without knowing who will do what, they will be executing the iterations? Already they did the last product release; they're going to next iteration, and we are talking stakeholder analysis in the middle of the work when you are in a pressure. Is even though it looks nice, but do you think it will be something super high risky and immature approach? uh but then if uh, they were able to do so in the very first iteration um hmm. they wouldn't have picked up the low interest uh, makes know, sense makes sense your question is very valuable guys if you already identified why we are in this problem right now that's your question correct right? so that's the reason i believe that the product owner himself okay. is okay. not able to do the job well okay very good but what why team lead is doing this job here why the team lead has to do this You mean that person knows better than the anyone in the team? That's your thought. I'm assuming. I'm assuming that team is on top of the product, uh, the people, sense. and the scrum master, uh, more yeah. like a project manager, somebody who will ask both of them uh, to reinitiate the process. And okay, got you, got you, got you. I I respect your answer. Uh, let yeah. me hear one more person who said D. Yeah. Uh... Okay, so first thing is next iteration is critical. That means that previous iteration same team has worked, ah. uh, like engineer, uh, scrum master, and uh, product owner. So hmm. uh, from that point of view, I think since uh, there is a word critical, so they need some help where, uh, like you know, they this time they should not drop the ball. From hmm. that point of view, you want uh, to save your project. You want to save your product. So you want to understand who can. Uh, the the whole answer D is you're going to find a who when I say who this who answer can be somebody called John or it can be Julie. You're going to find this. You're going to get a name, but yep. this name finding will solve the problem. That's a question I have, but let, let me leave it as it is. I'll go so to the. Bring an SME possible. Because uh, yeah, a scrum ah. master coaching the product owner for reprioritizing that's not even uh -huh. the role of a scrum master itself. And it so, if free. what is what is SME here? Can someone tell me what is SME will do here? What is SME in a product like a gaming system? What is SME? The one who understands what the go to market. Who knows? Yeah, who knows what is that particular is game? Oh. Very good, very good, very good. Okay, very good. Uh, so now in this. Answer D, prioritization is not happening. The person who will prioritize his name is identified. Her name is that's what happening. No prioritization. Okay, let's see any other answer. Pretty more closer. Let's uh, go to B. In, in the D, they also say right that who can guide the backlog value ranking process. So who can guide? But guiding is not happening. Uh, maybe he's going to do later. She's going to do later. But anyway, that's fine because we're bringing somebody who will do later on this part in this iteration. Nice to know. Uh, let's go to answer B. Anyone here for the B? You want to yes. justify? Yeah. So here, uh, Scrum Master can coach the product owner on prioritizing the desired end user features. So basically, the our uh, end user, I think they are ah. showing the low interest on the based on the features. So again, ah. here, uh, Scrum Master again re uh, prioritize the uh, product features and engaging stakeholders here. So mm -hmm. for this uh, features, uh, identifying the features and prioritizing. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Why you think it's a great answer here? Because you have a problem. The low user interest is here. Yeah. And uh, make sure the next future is properly analyzed. So yeah. why this person has to coach? Why this person has to coach? Scrum master has to coach. Yeah, because is the responsible uh, here? Responsible mm -hmm. person. And uh, so uh, reiterating the uh, product features and also engaging stakeholders here. So they are. So who is a stakeholder? Who is a stakeholder here? As per yeah. uh, your uh, end, end users. And uh, okay. Yeah. Okay. End users and our cross functional team. Which means you mean somebody whom we call as voice of the customer. Voice of customer, yes. Is it the responsibility of a product owner? Should do that. Maybe, but that Maybe. if that is properly done today, we won't be in this situation. 
if it is not properly done somebody is stepping in to do that process is that your argument yeah that's why I, somehow he project product owner is missed that's why uh, scrum master okay. the agile coach is okay i i, I hear from you i hear from you yeah. okay i'm so holding my, this my thought process yeah yeah, yeah understand understand uh, any one more person for the b you want to justify something here mutana <clears> here <throat> go ahead mutana um i feel uh, the option b speaks more about uh, you know the out of all the options um i know that i have missed out the target here as as you said in the very beginning team respond but yeah. i went with option b because it speaks about uh, being a servant leader where the scrum master is coaching the product owner because in the yeah. previous iteration the the backlogs or the you know the backlog items were not prioritized properly and uh, the reason why scrum master has to pitch in is because the team has you know feels demoralized so he has to come in and mm. uh, <clears throat> looking at the question there is no option where you are doing root cause analysis but what we understand is the backlog was not prioritized properly so the first step the scrum master should do is engage with product owner is what i thought mm mm mm, mm. okay scrum master should remove the impediments am i right All right, that's a good discussion for last fifteen minutes at least for one question. Let's see how it's coming up. Uh, now, what we'll do is before we discuss, first read the answer justification. Take few seconds to read it. okay do you feel b and d are pretty closer to one another now yeah. let's look at this term here now let's look at the terms here now i know many of us thought d could be a good answer but look at here the product was released without sufficient user input i think this is a big problem there we call as a voice of the customer or prioritization to ensure it has appeal and delivers business value i think many of you said that business value was not delivered that's a first problem statement here which means low interest uh now uh the person in the role the person in this role need to understand how to work with the stakeholders in a more effective way so that the team is spending time the team is spending time not one person and effort developing features the person in the role now someone is missing that portion in agile we at least we understood when they use the word team the team consists of who all will be there a product owner or a business representative and you will have a engineers or development team they call it as or you have somebody called coach or a scrum master this is the usual team structure team lead even though in some company they follow that but at least in the books of official agile books you will don't see the team lead playing a major role in many places if you see already a scrum master if you see already a product owner i would prefer to go to this option rather going directly to the team lead because at least in the books you usually get product owner engineers or developers plus a scrum masters right and point here is there is a person who is responsible for this now what is the responsibility okay uh, i'll i'll show some information for you before that people who went with the d do you feel that b can be better where you coach somebody that's a responsibility of a scrum master or a coach to guide the team how they have to prioritize do you think that responsibility align with somebody called scrum master is this true is this true yeah. but uh, shri isn't scrum master and product owner parallel roles where one oh, had to oh 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 parallel role how come then why the company needs one, two people well where one handles the functional side and the other or the process side of it very that's good that's what are happening right one is a process oriented one is functional oriented the functional oriented person should have prioritized properly she or he did not do that 
then what is the process oriented person role hmm. you know no, a process expert you have to right. explain the process right hey come on man first you have to swipe your card after swiping your card you have to put the pin number then only yeah. you have to enter the door that is called process is it a process in a company yes you put a swipe a card then put a pin that's a process a process b process c you are a process expert standing in the entrance and somebody without swiping entering their office hey no 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 first you have to swipe that's called process expert and when you are a process expert you have to speak up to the team and explain what should be done right um so by the way Okay. Shall yeah, I tell ahead. the Shall I tell the glossary definition of Scrum Master is okay. Yeah, yeah. Please, please go ahead. Meantime, I'll bring some content. Okay. The coach of development team and process owner in Scrum framework removes obstacle, obstacle, facilitate uh, productive event and defends the team from dis disruptions. Hmm. Hmm. Very good. Okay. Thanks for sharing that. All right. So let's see some more information. Uh, hope you are seeing the screen right now. Yeah. Now, if you can watch out, uh, what is our product owner? Product owner uh, creates a vision and roadmap, planning sprints and product iterations, making decisions, setting future sprints. Yeah, it all happens. Okay. Now, a Scrum Master is the person who coaches the Agile team. You facilitate the meeting. When you say a team, everyone including a team, right? Yeah. Uh, team doesn't mean only the core engineers it also includes the product owner who is part of the team right you may be coming from x company but at present you are part of my team so i should be the person to help you now let's see some more information maybe we have seen this class already just trying to show you again if you watch out here scrum master is here product owner is here developer is here as a product owner he is a representative of a particular product or a particular business who will always be in touch with the business owner also touch with these stakeholders you can see scrum master is also getting in touch with some people to understand is it properly aligning they they create an alignment they create a call you may invite somebody called sme sme can be a part time player subject matter expert in a gaming system i can invite an sme to give some new technology technical business knowledge sme comes as a part time player they come play in give some idea and go away but the team holds at least in the books of agile you see the terms like scrum master product owner engineers or developers they stay along with the team of course they can take help of sme you can't deny that but the responsibility rely with these people who have the role as a product owner or a scrum master yes armugam see uh, this business owner uh, like a sponsor also right could be see they don't want to put okay. all the pressure on the product owner in a big company like a bank or a system you okay. will have different layers it is okay. not one person called julie will take all the decision for hdfc bank you may have a superior above her and mm -hmm. she will be the person called a business owner who knows better broader business idea could be a sponsor also directly it's possible okay okay Thank you. Yes, Mutana. Yes, Mutana. See, uh, I know you told that uh, you know team lead is not something that is on our books, but uh, just to understand, where would team lead fit in here? What would the team lead do? Here, we at least in the books of Agile roles, you don't see a team lead. Uh, but many places, what they do is they they mix Scrum Master with the team lead in companies. In companies, some people they have somebody who plays Scrum Master portion of team lead abilities they play. sometimes the scrum master plays the project manager ability so books you don't see that but it is in offices you see that uh let's put something more uh my intention is to show this one see right now what happened is a situation backlog is here i believe you are recognizing here right you see a bigger boxes here and there's a bigger boxes are betting into a thinner line here so mm -hmm. what is the difference between top and bottom thinner line and broader boxes what is the difference here more refined high priority and low priority high priority okay not elaborate I, and more I, refined more refined when you see a thinness it's more refined that's a meaning you polished it you split into small pieces uh, obviously the one which is well refined may stay on the top that doesn't mean i will deliver it the 
the product owner will set the priority these two items should go in the month of april i may refine the work but i will think this work will happen in the month of may is this possible yeah possible it doesn't mean that you refine you will deliver it but still most of the time we refine the work when i say use the word english refine refine means getting a clarity and being detailed about the work now why i'm explaining this is when you get this stuff from where you get it and i have my team and this team is the one who is refining this work if it is a bigger boxes this will be converted into smaller boxes by this team because this is a team will define the work which will develop the work which will test the work which will deliver the work which means when i say define they are the one defining when you will define the work when you know that it's important in the market and for that there is a naming convention if you heard about something called a voc have you heard about voc yeah voice of customer voice of the customer so imagine there is a company like a city bank city bank is a banking system and this work is done by a company called accenture now who will hear the banking customers voice who will first hear this voice of the customer is it accenture or city bank city bank city bank makes sense right city bank will hear the voice of the customer if you have a product owner julie from city bank who is traveling to accenture now do you think it's responsibility of julie should know which is a high priority and which is a low priority do you think so is it julie's responsibility is it julie's responsibility to tell high and low yes Or, yeah yeah she may have a better idea than anyone else in the group in the whole group from city bank if somebody can say this is high and this is low that will be only julie definitely she can talk to the team but the better idea comes from her that is called voice of the customer that was not properly done that is the reason scrum master is stepping in and telling that hey guys can you do this and this is what you learned in the class sometime right if you see here you see the uh, low priority large size few details small size lot of details isn't it and this whole work of reprioritization refining the items deleting the items and these all done regularly um, but again this is not scope of the question what we discuss now through this question if you want to understand something which means prioritization should be done and that is one of the process it's one of the process if somebody don't follow that process scrum master or agile manager has a high responsibility to step in and tell that guys watch out what is important was it helpful you got something yes yeah. yeah always i want to talk two three questions but unfortunately already 5:30 had to get for the next class okay uh now i know some of the answers you would have thought and it would have gone some other place it's completely fine don't judge your value by one question yeah don't judge your life by one day it's okay keep moving it's okay you will learn you will learn it's completely fine to go down come back again but sometime going down is so nice because you see your vulnerable area and you start getting prepared that's very important sometime you get a right choices you get over confident you don't prepare well also that also happens so it's nice to get a good answer if you don't get a good answer still it is fine but analyze well maybe i took 25 minutes for one question you can't do like this but imagine after you took a 60 question exam if you can analyze 15 minutes like what we did for one question maybe 10 question in a day you think your knowledge will improve will improve yes yeah. yes yes and this is what i called as post exam analysis you should do this if at all you don't do 180 questions if you can do out of 180 questions at least 30 questions like this one question from one question how many concepts you learned today did you learn more today yeah. we yeah. spoke about gulf of evolution we spoke about scrum master we spoke about how a team will be defined developed deliver we spoke about this 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 we are talking a lot lot right if you can do that for at least 10 30 40 questions by now within one week your knowledge would have grown extraordinarily high many times what we do is we see the right answer we see the wrong answer read one line okay done next it is not about the quantity quality is important 
right? We are not packing hammam boxes. We are doing a Bentley car. One car should come perfectly out, right? Hammam boxes, right? Hammam soap, life boil soap. Yeah. 100 soap, put a box, throw it out. No, you are doing a Bentley car. A Bentley car, one car, six months, you make perfectly good. When the car comes out, excellent car in the market. So take time, sit and analyze properly. You are a professional. Even the days runs more, it's completely fine. But when you come out, you should come super polished. Clear? Got it? Okay. Yeah. Let's rock. Anjali, I said I will talk for your question. Unfortunately, I couldn't do that. Now time runs out. Uh, let's come back again in the WhatsApp. I'll read your question. I'll get back to you. You have to give me one more day. Tomorrow, I'll do this process for you. Okay? Sure. Fantastic. Uh, people always feel confident. PMP is not the only thing in life. It's one of the things. But at the same time, PMP gives you confidence. When you clear the exam, you feel that, yes, I can do something in my life. So clear the exam very well. Come back here. We'll again talk more about your success journey. Okay. Now enjoy your Sunday. Eat well, sleep well, watch IPL and have a good time. Okay. We'll catch up again in the next session. Right? See you all. Bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank you. Thank you, sir.